Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the archipelago shipping example, and we're going to do some calculations, and we're going to do a custom number format. We're going to start with this ticket price cell here, the B3, which we eventually want to make sure that they can only change that price. That's the only cell that's going to be changeable in this sheet. So uh, let's start by giving that cell a name. I'm going to call that ticket price instead of B3. And then of course I'm going to enter. So now I can start doing the math with that and I can do equals number of passengers multiplied by ticket price. Excellent. And then I can just fill that out to the right. And you'll notice that I'm always using that. So that's not a relative reference, it's an absolute reference since you've been given a name. I could, of course, have written the um, dollar B3 instead yeah, as an absolute reference, but using a named cell is much more useful, in my opinion. So uh, the average uh, revenue per, per tour is, of course, the revenue in total divided by the number of tours for that month. And now I can fill that out. Average per tour is, of course, the number of passengers divided by the number of tours. And then I fill that out. And um, the coverage is the average per tour divided by the max passenger per tour. Of course, I want that in percentage to make it more readable. Now I fill that out. So that concludes all of my calculations. As you see, there's a lot of numbers here, so let's make it a bit prettier. Let's start with the inputs, of course, as usual. Make those cell style input there. And that makes it better. And then the average per tour is a calculation, as we usually do. Max passengers per tour, and coverage, and revenue, and average number. Those are all calculations, so let's do that. Calculation. Uh, and then we're going to do some custom number formats. Let's start with the revenue. That's not a custom number format, but that's just dollars. So let's do that one first. So now we have not enough space there. Actually, maybe we do if we just decrease the number of decimals there. Oh, that looks good. And the average revenue is, of course, dollars too. So let's put that in dollars also. And no decimals on that. All right. Now, I'm going to do some custom number format. So I actually wanted to say 164 pass. And um, here I wanted to say tours. And here's also uh, passengers. So, so let's actually make a new uh, number format. And the way to do that, uh, first of course, I can select the cell. I want all of these cells to have the word pass in them. So what I'm going to do then is create a new number format, then format cells. Here we have the number formats. I can actually do a custom format. And there I can um, type a new format, and that would be the this type of format. And then just followed by pass. And what these uh, digits signify is that the zero indicates that this should, should always be there. The uh, hash symbols there indicates that this should be there if it has a value. So the 6 is there and the 1 is there, but the 1000 number is not there because it doesn't have a value. right? And of course there's a space there that indicates this is the 1000 separator there. So that's that format. And here you see I now have a custom format with a bit more space. But you can still count on. So that's still a number there, but it's just formatted. As you see, if I was writing like this, 45 pass, you see, and 55 pass like that, I couldn't do the math on there. So that's why we would need to create a custom number format if we want to have the number and the type of the number in the same cell. And I'm going to do the same thing again. And I'm going to right click here, the format cell. And then on the number format, I'll just do a custom there, and I'll do the same thing again. The dash uh, space for the uh, thousand separator, and then I want the single digit number to be there, and then a space and um, tours. 20 tours, right? Okay, 
can run on it. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and make that specific cell uh, changeable, but nothing else. So I'm just gonna format this cell and go into the protection like that. And it's not gonna be locked, that one. All the other cells are locked by default, but not that one. And now we're gonna protect the sheet. And as you see now, I can go in and, or I'd rather I cannot change any of these. They are protected. But if I change the dollar value here, you see that it works. So that's the only cell that's changeable. So that concludes the archipelago example demonstration. Thank you for watching.